so uh, actually today uh, we'll we'll see how we can export the configurations uh, that we have done till now so uh, for uh, so the whatever records we create right so we will use export management to export all the data right so if we are creating some field or some object or some relationship or uh, any script right so if so if we want to export all of that and to see overall changes for a application or for specific object so how we are uh, going to collect that so uh, so we will see that uh, in this session and uh, at the end we'll see uh, also some uh, groovy scripts that are uh, that might help like how it will be or uh, that also will will see so uh, for exporting the configurations that we have done uh, we should go to application composer uh, then without sandbox so if we go to application composer without sandbox uh then we can go to here uh give me a minute okay um so we come to here uh, application composer and then uh, we have uh, under common setup we have metadata manager so this will hold all the metadata of uh, all the configurations that we have uh, written in this uh, applications uh, in the applications so here um, if you click on generate so a pop up will come and it will ask uh, what what you want to export so whether it's a fields or field informations or uh, uh, like global functions server scripts object workflows page layouts right so it will ask these details so um global functions so which will be uh, like which we will create right in server scripts uh, uh not not in server scripts so here here it, we can find uh, under common setup we can find uh, global functions so those uh, those global functions and then relationship if we build any one to m or m to m relationship through uh, relationships uh a, a tab so that will also come here and also a modified object all the modified objects uh whether it it can be standard object or custom objects okay so uh, all the modified objects so it means if 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 some mod object is not modified so that won't appear here so if even if it is a standard object so at least if there is something change then then only though that object will be included here and if you want few objects so we can select uh, that object so currently um, i'm selecting only few objects okay maybe uh, account and event i'll select so it means the all the configuration details for the objects account and event will be included so all the uh fields server scripts object workflows page layouts then uh layout details all are for these two objects uh, will be coming and anyway global functions uh, right global functions are uh, irrespective of objects so that will come uh, the, all that global functions will come and and something like same like the uh, same like web services and mashup content also so these are not uh, related to any object right so uh, so these are common components so all all the web services and ma mashup contents and then global functions will be included in this uh, configuration report so once we select all of this then just click on generate so it will generate a report so it uh, depending on the configuration size or the the, the uh, 
uh, the configurations size it means if we, we have more scripts more fields more objects then it might take some time so if we have uh, less configuration data then it might take less time so, but we should wait for uh, some time uh, to get this uh, downloaded So if we select all objects, right? Uh, if we select here all objects, uh, the selection, then the page layouts will not come into the uh, page layout details will not come into the uh, the configuration report. So that is the uh, like exception um, while using uh, um, configuration report. And, and why we need this configuration report is like uh, if you want to check uh, the like what all, what all the what all the fields we created right in a Excel Excel or uh, Excel document so we can just download this and then we can filter by uh, by field type or whatever uh, available there. And it, it's a kind of a document documentation also. So so today we uh, we have uh, some set of configuration, some set of scripts, some version of script. So and uh, we will change uh, tomorrow, and then we need that latest configuration. So, so like this, the old configuration report and new configuration report, old fields and new fields. So we can we can see that uh, the old changes also by uh, by using this configuration report and that's how we can um, uh, like we can document uh, all the previous changes uh, using this configuration report so uh, after downloading that configuration report we'll get uh, this kind of a uh, uh, document uh, so this is the configuration report uh, so if if we select only one object so that object will be listed here and if we select multiple objects so all other objects will be uh, listed one by one here so if we expand this so here we can see the object information like uh, object name and the api name okay so this is object name and uh, api name and the table name for this and object type uh, okay and uh, this is the table actually so if we if we want to build any uh, report on accounts so this is how we can uh, we can come to an object and then we we get the uh, the backend table for this object so in this object, all the accounts will be stored. And it will just give, also give the total number of fields, standard fields, custom fields, number of triggers, object functions, validations, object workflows, right? Uh, the total number of page layouts that are available. So all of that, it will uh, list here. And if we expand custom fields, all the custom fields will be available. So here uh, name will be the API name and display name, type, type of the field, column name. So here column name means the backend uh, uh, column name. So it means uh, in this table, this field is assigned to this column. Okay. So longitude underscore C is assigned uh, to this uh, field in this uh, HZ organization profiles table. So, uh, so if you want to get a longitude underscore C value from HZ organization profile, so we should refer this column name for longitude value. So that is how we can create, uh, we, can, we can use this column name. And if we have any default values, it will, uh, it will show here. And then, and then write, um, uh, required updatable searchable um, 
like rest enabled or not okay then if you have any field properties that all will be listed here okay and and if you notice here uh, if in case of formula fields right so here uh, you, we have a total open opportunities and then that is a type of text formula this is a formula field and if you notice here uh, this doesn't have a column it means this field won't be stored in uh, the data table so this doesn't have any column uh, column name that means uh, this field will be not available in the table whatever we have right hz organization profile so uh, all the formula fields will be not available in uh, the tables also so if we create any dcl field right so uh, there will be two fields um, so one one will have uh, the display name and one will uh, one one more field will have the id so suppose if we create a dcl for account or uh, like if you are in some other object and we are creating for account account name will be uh, in this dcl dcl field and account id will be uh, one more field uh, so like this so so the same field right strategic plan underscore c so one field have strategic plan underscore id underscore c so this id will have a column but the display name Uh, wherever it it shows that doesn't assign any column so we'll get the id only and if we if we want to name so we need to uh, like we need to join with uh, with the with this object uh, in the sql so then only we'll get the uh, name and so this is how so here if you notice even though if you have a required uh, like it will just say yes or no and if you have a, uh, if you write any condition it will not display here so that is just one of the limitation it won't give the expression and in expressions uh, in triggers will get all the uh, like triggers that we have written and validations all the validation scripts Uh, so it will be here listed, and object functions same like that, and dynamic layouts. So these are layout name, and then whether it's active or not. Then if it is any role added to that or not, and if there these are conditions, right? Role record type and advanced expressions are the conditions. So it will just list here, and. and that's all in in uh, the dyn dynamic layouts and in the global functions so all the global functions will be written here relationships so <clears throat> all the relationships uh, available in the system so it will list out all the uh, uh, relationships what is the source object what is the target object and then <clears throat> and type of relationship so all of that it will be uh, listed here in relationships and trust web services uh whatever web services created uh for uh, rest right so it will be listed here and so web services are listed in this uh, tab and if you have any mashup content uh okay i think we haven't covered ma mashup content but mashup content is nothing but uh, like if you want to show something external Uh, URL uh, as a iframe, so then we can register in this mashup content uh, that web application, and then we can show in our uh, like uh, account pages. So that is called mashup content. And if you have any uh, any like that, like anything like that, then we can uh, use this mashup content. and uh, 
so yeah uh, this is this is about uh, configuration report so uh, the another way of uh, uh, getting this configuration report is uh, with application composer so we'll i'll show the navigation to that as well 